Jurassic Park recently turned 30. In rewatching the movie, I realized uh, two things. The first of them is something that I believe for a long time that it has aged really well, uh, even better in a lot of dimensions than uh, the recent movies. And I'm not gonna even go into scripts. There's a, a video here on YouTube by Mike Hill discussing that. I'll add a link in the description. Um, but the second is that I never researched the artists that worked on the movie. As you can see on your screen right now, artists such as John Bell. I didn't know that Craig Mullins had a lot of uh, illustrations done for the movie, uh, as well as the storyboard artists that visualized and helped create some of the most iconic scenes in movie history. I knew of Crash McCreary uh, because of Trojan Horse was a unicorn. And it was when I first realized that some of the dinosaur illustrations that I looked up to when I was young were done by him. Uh, the Velociraptor, the T-Rex and all that. We'll, we'll, we'll have a look uh, at, that, uh, at those later on. Uh, and I knew about Stan Winston, his team, and recently I watched a documentary on Disney Plus talking about ILM and the importance of the animators during this production. If you look at the 3D for all the dinosaurs in this first movie, they have not aged that well in terms of textures, number of polygons, look dev, uh, and all of that. They do look good, uh, a lot of them, especially in the right lighting. But the biggest part that turned them alive, that is way different from the recent ones, is animation. So kudos to all those people. I'm not going to talk about a lot of them. Please do research the documentary on ILM. I'll have a link for the trailer in the description as well. There are a lot of amazing people, modelers and all of that, that together with Stan Winston helped Steven Spielberg uh, realize this movie. Today I want to talk about design and illustration and dive deeper into the images that you see on your screen and how some of them uh, I have never seen before and, and they impacted me so much when I found them. John Bell is definitely one of the pleasant surprises during this research process. I had never seen the designs for the Jeeps for the convention center and, and all of that. So it, it was pretty amazing and inspiring to really understand that I don't know a lot of amazing people that work in the entertainment industry and that I haven't seen a lot of the work uh, out there for some of the movies that most impacted my childhood and my career as a whole. So even the logo uh, for Jurassic Park, you can see here uh, the influence from, from him and other explorations that went to different parts of the movie. Uh, logos, he's a more of an industrial designer. So a lot of that you can be seen here, theme park designer, potentially, I don't know, oh, uh, his whole career and other things that he worked on before being uh, an art director uh, uh, on Jurassic Park. but. The designs and, and all of these designs come from a website, I'll have a link in the description, that attribute this work to him. Some of them are signed, some of them are not, so uh, there could be some mistakes here. And even the design for, for this sign, uh, it's, it's super great. This is such an iconic design. We all remember the scene down here with the T-Rex getting out of uh, his enclosure, the inside of the vehicles, uh, the designs for convention center and uh, the tours that to take, the Jeep. The Jeep is interesting uh, and it's an, an interesting comparison between Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. One of the best scenes uh, that gave me a lot of chills in Jurassic World was when the, the kids find the Jeep. So, in a lot of the other nostalgic items, different 
variations on colors character designs john hammond a very iconic character design uh, and props so the ring uh, this this scene to find this drawing was really amazing uh, to see this kind of a three-quarter view of such an iconic scene in the beginning of the movie uh, uh, as well as very imposing iconic design for the convention center uh, top view of the overall complex and more and more designs the gate uh, first um, more on a convention center kind of approach as well as with the car uh, size and, and scale comparison a lot different scenes um, the velociraptors the uh, merchandising so a lot of explorations, the kitchen scene from John Bell for the movie. In the beginning of the movie, the T-Rex, more variations on cars that never saw the light of day, or at least I don't remember. This is so good. This door is so iconic uh, from different moments in the movie, uh, especially in the end of the movie. It's great to see that someone got this out of their head, uh, the embryos. So a lot of industrial designs that really impacted the movie, as well as some uh, storyboard beats. We're going to look uh, at other ones in more detail. The Triceratops, it's a different scene in the movie, final movie, but interesting to see explorations. Uh, the night vision. Uh, both the design for the prop uh, as well as what that would look like in the final movie more design on on the the car the iconic car some action scenes and, and that's pretty much uh john bell on this um, now jumping on to tom cranham this is so good this one uh the velociraptor enclosure this design is also so iconic we remember at least i do remember the scene so well the uh convention center i keep calling convention center but i think there's another name for that but this is so so great design so different so iconic very theme park uh we can see a lot of that uh, in in modern uh, theme parks imagine that this was probably designed in 91 92 or even earlier uh, Ty Rubin Allison I don't know if I'm butchering your name if you are watching this which I doubt but definitely a great scene very very iconic as well such as this one so a lot of big big story moments in storyboards that went to be some of the most iconic scenes in, in movie history. So imagine him putting down some marks on paper and figuring out what that's gonna look like. It's, it's awesome to see and be able to experience this. Uh, David Negron, or I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, another possible scene for, for the inside of the the main center, convention center, as I say, uh, the Velociraptor air duct scene. And I forgot to mention that this one uh, was done by David Lovery. You can find all these storyboards and, and story beats across the internet. I'll have some links in the description for fan sites, fan Jurassic Park sites that collect a lot of this work. Uh, so definitely check that out. It's it's really interesting. So getting last but not least Crash McCreary uh, Some of the most iconic pieces of art in my childhood This one is so good. I don't know how I never Took the time to copy it. I should have um, Really great to see those and to be able to watch 
talks from Crash on THU. There's also a sketchbook series where he gets to draw uh, live being interviewed. So it, it, it's great. All links will be in the description. Definitely if you are a, a huge fan as I am, you will definitely enjoy that. Uh, the scales, drawings, we've seen this uh, so much across different media. Uh, and last but not least, one of my favorite artists uh, of all time, Craig Mullins, with some uh, illustration uh, explorations for what things could look like. I love this one, very cartoony T-Rex, uh, but a lot of emotion here with the car uh, falling down into T-Rex enclosure. This is signed, so it's great to see uh, some of them signed. John Bell, as I mentioned, have uh, a lot of those as well. And this one uh, potentially inspired some of the wall illustrations that you can see in the convention center, especially in the final scene where they are eating and the velociraptors are uh, getting uh, closer. Uh, so definitely amazing work overall. Take your time to really look at all these amazing people research them find out what different movies they are working on what kind of content they have out there such as crash and thu uh, also craig mullins teaches on schoolism.com so it also helps a lot support his work if you go watch if you are a painter if you are a concept designer or even an uh, enthusiast that wants to have a peek on uh, what their process looked like that definitely helps uh, all of them and most of them might be working in the movie industry uh, to this day so worth checking that out I hope this was as informative and uh, nostalgic and inspiring uh, for you all as it was for me um, it, it brings chills to just look at some of this work and really think that little did they know that they were creating one of the most iconic movies, Hollywood, uh, Hollywood blockbusters of at least my generation. And definitely inspires a lot of what's happening in the movie industry nowadays, to this day, 30 years later. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you might also enjoy other videos I did on a broader kind of analysis of movies. So definitely check that out. And I hope to see you all in another video. Have a great one.